Thank you. Listen, I think that we've all, as I mentioned, we've all looked at uh, different ways that we could operate. And in fact, there could be circumstances. You could imagine a mass casualty attack. You could imagine any sort of a national security crisis where it might not be possible for members to assemble here in the chamber. And, and so I think looking at what presence means is, is a legal question. I would note, however, that this lawsuit does not get to that issue. This lawsuit does not get to the issue of whether remote voting is constitutional. The issue in this lawsuit is proxy voting. And, and the point that we are making is, you know, we all have an interest in joining together in a bipartisan fashion to make sure that the people's house can operate and that the people's voice can be heard. But unfortunately, in this case, the Democrats simply rammed through a change, which they themselves said in their own report was questionable constitutionally. And they rammed it through on a partisan basis in a way that absolutely takes away the voice of many of the constituents of the people who are not represented. So I think with respect to the issue of the constitutionality of proxy voting, we are absolutely uh, unified on that. And I think all of these issues require deep research, study, attention, as you saw from Mr. Johnson, to what the Constitution says, to what the framers intended, and also a recognition of the most important thing is for this body to be able to operate. And if we create a situation where the Speaker of the House for weeks and weeks and weeks refused to deal with remote voting, refused to bring us together to operate, you create a situation where the body doesn't operate. And, and I cannot imagine that anybody who really has the interest of the American people at the forefront of their mind is going to think that in a national crisis, we ought to have only the President of the United States operating. The People's House have, have got to be here and we've got to be working. So I think there's no question.